<laughs> now she's mad at me. Stop it, lady. <laughs> Who has ah, a good amount of crane? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty silly. All right. What town are we in here now? Okay, this is just on the outside of Novigrad. So let's see if we can get some of this stuff made now. He's wanting to send us back to Stelliga, Skelliga. But, um... Yeah, we had a couple... Smiths here. This guy, I don't remember if he can, he's a master smith or not. Let's go, let's go see. But among all the ones here, there's got to be some who can do this. Making the cat school gear. Look at this. Just look. Her cats are pissed all over my face. Horatia. My dad doesn't like us very much. Fucking hey, Oz. Oh my. Got a smith here. Let's see what kind of smith this is. Washed your hair lately. Next bloke to tell me He's a which peasant. starts cold to the woes of the common man gets my fist down his None of these are actual police. smiths. Why does he need two swords? Why does he need two swords? Okay, let's see where I'm going. So we got this guy. Let's go check him out first. Right ahead of me. Which one is this? Right. On the other side. Might be. He's above. Interesting. I don't remember this one. Oh, this is the guy. Right, we were going to do the quest for, but he was too high level for us. That's what's-his-face. Yeah, we got a quest for him, but that's like a level 20-something quest. So we can't do him yet. There was one in the square, like, right... Oh, this one here. There's a guy right here. Let's see if he can do it. We got to find an armor... And a weaponsmith. Here's the weaponsmith. This guy's kind of a poor one, though, but he might be. I forget if he's a master one or not. Need something sharpened. Refill. Let's see. Like you to craft something for me. Think you can? So for as far as the swords go, the feline silver sword superior. Here we go. He can do this. Excellent. This is plus 60 from what we had before. It's only got one slot, but this is what I just got. So these are all the silver swords. That one's plus 51. That's plus 60. This one's actual Witcher gear. This one's not. Um, so yeah, we'll do that one. There's also this one. Yeah, that's still better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and craft that. Thank you, sir. And then let's do the steel sword. So we want the feline steel sword. We're missing something. We need another iron ingot, but we can buy one. That's plus 48. 
on what we got. Better than that one. Yep, let's go ahead and make that. Thank you, sir. And then what about the crossbow? Oh, the feline crossbow is level 29. Okay, <laughs> we won't be doing that yet. All right, well, very cool. We've got those two now. So, and then let's uh, look at selling stuff to him. Let's sort this. So we don't want to sell those. Oh, what happened? Go back to shop. Okay. These, I think we, why are you doing that? Something's happening here. Hopefully, don't have a macro or something going on. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's going on with that? Let's exit from him for a second. So long. Um, let me just go check what my cursor's doing again. If it's doing anything weird. No, it's fine. Okay. Let's go back in here. Oh. No, that couldn't be been it. There was something sitting on top of my number pad. All right, let's go enter him again. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and equip our new stuff. Yeah, so here's our new silver sword. Boink. And here's our new steel sword. Upgrades. Upgrades. Yeah, so those are minus 60 and minus 48 from what we had before i think everything else here can go now yep we can sell it all so this guy tends to be a little poor so let's sell what we can to him need something sharpened even Reforged. though he's a master what do you have on offer he's got 683 he's recharged at least now this stuff, the green ones, I'm going to hold on to and put in my stash. But these I can sell. Oh, he's already out of coin. <laughs> For those. So those are high budget items, though. They are. Oh, yeah, we can do that. And now he's out of the money. Oh, these are big ticket items. Some of these are. Okay. Cool. There's another weaponsmith near here, so we can sell the rest of those to him. Um, okay. Thank you, sir. So long. All right, so we got part of that made. Now let's go over to the armor smith. He's right next door. Leave not here. Up here. I think this guy's a master. Hey, Oops. you! Yes, you! you! Don't have time for you. Top notch swords. Oh, I'm pretty sure he can. Let's check it out. Willing to craft something for me? So, feline boots, yes. Plus 12. Yeah, so let's do that. So that's the boots. And then the chest armor. We're missing some leather. We can buy that from him. And then go ahead and make that. Hopefully this is good looking stuff, we'll see. And then we need the gauntlets. Feline gauntlets. Nails he has. The timber he doesn't. So we'll have to see if we can make some timber. Otherwise we'll have to procure it. All right, we have to procure some timber, which is weird. And that's for the gauntlets. 
And then the, let's see about the trousers. Again, the hardened timber. Okay. Let's figure out where we can get that from. That's a pretty weird thing to need so for those long. things. They need wood. All right, we'll get that and then we'll see what they look like and we'll put the the runes in them and stuff. We've got a merchant here. That's not the right merchant. It's one who actually sells stuff. I thought it was him. There he is. Now he's willing to deal with me. See, he's got timber. What have you got there? Doesn't look like it. Do we have anything? Sell them we do. Oh, we might want to dismantle those. Oh, they're worth a lot of money. Di the dimeridium. Because we still need to make that dimeridium bomb. Might have to dismantle something for the timber. That's true. That's true. We'll see if we can. I didn't see it as a crafting component I could make, but we'll look. Oh, yeah, actually, I should look at all these, huh, before I sell them all. Right. Probably shouldn't have. Do any of these have timber? I bet a casket would have timber, right? Let's buy one of those. Let's see if what that dismantles into. Fur doesn't, or hides don't. This is worth 23 now. Not a lot. We're just going to let go of that one at this point. I doubt that would have timber, but we'll wait. So long. Let's go back to dude. See if we could dismantle that casket. Top notch swords. But he's an armor. Why is he selling me swords? Anyway. Show me what you have in stock. Actually, for dismantle. Timber. Not hardened timber, though. That's fine. Maybe we can harden it. That can turn into ashes. But this. Sure. And then these. Glowing ore. That's a lot of money. Oh, do it. Whatever. Okay. Um, so for crafting, can we make hardened timber from that other timber now? Hardened timber. Yes. It's made from timber and resin. Cool. Let's just make all those because it seems to be something we need. We'll have that for next time. Cool. And... The ingots, these ingots are made from the ore. All right, we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. Um, a bunch of stuff we can make, but I don't know what we need it for at this point. So we'll wait on that. But now we should be able to, for crafting, here we go. So what did we need left? We needed the boots. Yeah, the boots. Let's make one of those. And the trousers. Feline trousers. Very cool. This stuff better look good. All right. We did it. 
cool. And then uh, let's sell him all this armor that we've been picking up. We don't need any of this stuff. So sell him that. It's a little better than what I'm wearing, but not going to be as good as what I'm about to put on. Let's not sell what we just made. Did we make two of these? We did. <laughs> Oh, it was the gauntlets we needed. Gauntlets. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, let's check it out. Let's do the crafting. Uh, we can have them maybe dismantle the other ones we just made. Unless, uh, we, have, we still have the stuff for this, luckily. Cool, and then let's see selling versus dismantling. How much these are worth? 131, uh, let's sell them. Sell them the stuff he made. Sure. Okay, cool, now we did it. So the only thing we didn't make was the, um, whatchamacallit? The crossbow. But we can't, because that was too high level. It'd be no good to us. But we have it for later. So very cool. Let's see what this stuff looks like. Eh. It's alright. Feline gauntlets. Feline boots. That's not terrible. Shows off his uh, swole arms there. But this stuff wasn't that great looking either. Yeah, that's the shirt right there. That's the feline armor. All right, so when we can put a couple runes in these things. So for the weapons, we've got these greater runes that have 5%. So that's got 5% attack power, a chance to poison, adrenaline gain. These are 2%, 3%. Kind of like the stagger. Armor piercing is not bad for the steel one because we tend to um, fight people with armor with the steel sword. Attack power, poison, adrenaline. I guess we'll just go for straight attack power. 5% is not bad. Poison's not bad either. Let's put the poison on the silver sword. And we'll put the armor piercing on the steel one. And then I got one slot on the chest armor. Let's see what we got that's good for that. Igni, Ard, Eerden, Quen. I think Quen makes sense on armor. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Okay, so we're upgraded. And so we have much better armor rating than we did before. Much more attack power. Um, these we're gonna go put in the stash, our green stuff. And then these last other weapons we're gonna sell to this other weapon smith over here. I like rain. Keeps around the corner. My arms are going to be a little chilly. Yeah, I guess this counts as light armor. I marked this guy too. Let's see where he was. He's right. He's one of these. Let's see which one. Just discovered this guy actually. There's one guy here. Is this him? No, this was a merchant. He must be this guy up here. Let's bring him back. I didn't bring him back. I guess it's after his work hours. Let's go to morning.
There he is. I'll buy some swords. Yeah, welcome to my workshop. Do show me your wares. Show me what you have on offer. So we can sell him. Boom. Boom. Oh, he's already out of coin. So this guy's not a big money dude either. And now we got some, we're going to get 348 from that one. Okay, and I guess that's all. We can do that one. We're getting down there, but um, yeah. And what also is the weight I'm carrying? Is it, um, oh, I've got a bunch of saddles on me. Oh, that would be it. And we don't need any of these. We got a better one. We should sell those. Those are heavy. We can sell some food too. All the drinks. What's the sword he has with the exclamation point? Show me what you have on offer. I don't know. Blunt sword. These all have it, don't they? Is that all the same sword? I think so. Let's buy one. It's a quest item. Okay. Farewell. So long. Easy to find mages in this mob. Easier than you think. You just need to set the proper bait. Maybe. We got Start a... a oh, Ill, and only a potion will save it. Uh, it'll take Somewhere some over here. Don't worry about that. His Royal Majesty's been right generous with funds for the city's cleansing. I thought there was a um, shopkeeper. I'm not sure who that is. Unless he's on the other side. We gotta sell those saddles. And we're gonna sell all our beer and stuff. Are you a real merchant? Nope. You're a fake merchant. What about you? Are you a real merchant? Yes, you are. Excellent goods at the lowest prices. If some mug's got it cheaper, you can be sure the scandals put sawdust in his flour. Interest you in a fritter? Oh, and he'll play cards with me too. Mind if I have a look? So let's sell our saddles. I could like go compare all the prices, but that would take too long. Yeah, saddles are quite heavy, comparatively. Noonwraith, Hag, Griffin. I think we've got a noon, two Noonwraiths now, but I'll hold on to those for the moment. And then I never used the, the beers and stuff. So let's sell all those. They make me all dizzy. That should get rid of some weight. We're up into the 8,000s now. That's the most we've had. Other ones I'll hold on to. I think. Magic item. Okay. We'll leave it at that. We're down to 57. Not super light, but not too bad. Still have a few more swords we can get rid of. A little bit of currency exchange to do. Alrighty. Cool. Farewell. Take care now. He dyed your tongue purple eating Jolly Ranchers. That's cool. Let's put a mark on this guy. Come back and play some Gwent with him. Excellent. 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 All right. I got to take a quick break again, guys. I'm going to be right back. 
And we're back. Time for some more. Got one more hour in me. And then I think I'm going to call it quits. But uh, let's do another hour worth of adventures. We just got all the cat school gear, which we're wearing. So this is legit uh, uh, witcher gear. Looks a lot different than the other. I still miss the first one with the little chain mail on my shoulders and stuff. But I guess this is classified as a light armor, which I don't know if it makes me leap around faster or not. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> makes me run into people. Whee! Jump. Wink. I can't seem to... I can't roll and dodge if I'm not actually fighting, so... We'll see how that goes later. Um, what I would like to do real quick is uh, find a stash to put my stuff in. We got a stash here. Let's head over there. Um, that's over actually at um, Dandelion's place. We can go say hey to him. Oh, and look, there's something. There's a quest right here. What is this? Is it you? What's up? All right. What have you got there? Magic accessories. Ooh. Alchemy ingredients, potions, and much more. Interesting. Fancy. Don't look a bit like a mage. True. Perhaps because I'm not a mage. I just take care of the sundries the poor folk who burn at the stake leave behind. Ensure they end up in the right hands. Hmm. Fine. What do you have? Not but rarities. At unbeatable pr Oh shit. You didn't see me here. <laughs> the halfling, what did he want? And why did he bolt when he saw us coming? I have no idea. He left his soup on the burner. Left his soup on the burner. I've half a mind to put you on the burner, wise ass. Got my eye on you. Let's go. Good luck with that. My arms look a little vulnerable there. New quest, huh? Hey, you want to look at my stuff? Search the area using your witcher senses. Hmm. Quite the brew. Halfling wasn't lying. Sense gotta be carrying quite a ways. Alright. So we got ourselves into something here. Let's follow this. Let him return alive in one piece. Hey, grey hair! There he is. And you're a fine fella for not ratting me out. Prepared to give you a discount for that, mate. So, shall we trade? Sure. See what he's got. Yeah, let's. Hopefully no interruptions this time. Whoever designed the resealable Jolly Rancher bag is dirty and they know it. <laughs> what has he got that I want here? Oh no. Formula for something. Ducal water. I don't know. The rest of this seems pretty uh, mundane to me, actually. None of them have any, like, little quest markers on them or anything like that. I guess we'll buy this. In case it's good for anything. Um, but the rest of this... Yeah, I don't know. I guess let's look in our alchemy again real quick. No, I can't with this guy. Because he's just a regular shopkeeper. Whatever. Does he have good prices on stuff? Uh, not really. For selling weapons to and all that. Um, okay. Well, now we know about him anyway. If we need any of these things. Phosphorus. Quicksilver. Some of these might be rare. No idea. Lunar shards. That sounds rare. But who knows? All right. That's updated. Is it done? Completed? Ah. Uh, well, that was a quickie. Okay. So we got dude there. Um. We play Gwen. So, shall we trade? No. <laughs> No thanks. He doesn't get a mark Don't then. Need anything just now. Who's this guy? 
Siggy Reuven's henchman, huh? Why is he just standing there looking all foul? Okay. So what can we get up to? Oh yeah, we were about to uh, go to our stash over in Dandelion spot. And that also might lead to something because we'll see Dandelion there. Yes, we will. Now that we've saved him and everything. The game is trying to send us to Skellige still. But I feel like we have so much to do in Valen. Seems like a little premature to go to another area. But if we do all the things in Valen, we'll be like level 30 before we go on our level 16 mission over there. I'm not quite sure how to pace that. I need to get to the other side of the river. Life, you gotta take risks. Uh, you're boy. Yeah, I sold the saddles. I just have a few swords left to sell. Uh, another drifter in from Tamaria. What village is Some for from? some pretty good prices. Oh, we got a couple quests here too. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. Good luck with doing that to Voltaire. Oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. He's looking pretty take sketch. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Okay. Well, that puts me up to Almost got in a fight there. Sheet without a shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, <laughs> I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual such a nice mohawk there. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious Oh, here's the Gwent, Gwent. the Gwent quest. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Sure. We haven't played cards the whole Fine. six hours, we'll so we'll play a little bit cards. now. Which ones you or maybe need? we played one game. Vigilla, Vigo, we played Priscilla. Isn't, um, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. If we buy these see? cards, are we Zed. not going to be able to keep them? Oh, or win familiar. them? Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And I guess we'll find out. Thank you, get out. I actually think I stand to pay off this dead note. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. We actually have a bunch of other um, Gwent stuff that may be precursors to this. So that's a dangerous game. Let's track this. And there's another one inside here. It looks like a... Uh, Dandelion's House of Ill Repute is back in action now. 
considerate. Let's see. Let's first let's go to my stash. If it's not one thing, it's another. Sir Garwin. You was in the inn. In the of the inn fixing me some chili. Nice. Yeah, food is definitely in order for me after this. Oh, these are usable now. I'll have to switch that out. But yeah, let's put our other Witcher gear in here. Our stash. And we'll lighten our load a little bit. And then let's switch out our crossbow at this point. Let's see, how does that work? I guess I have to unequip it and re-equip it. Uh, so let's go ahead, put this somewhere. And then I guess we'll have to get out of the stash. So that one can get switched out for this one. Cool, and I guess we could just sell this one now. Not that these do a ton of damage. That one's a little bit better. Now that we can actually use it, I think we're good in here. Yeah, the Viper ones. We're only saving the green Witcher stuff. Here's our original Warrior's leather jacket. Still, I think, looks the best. But yeah. Okay. And apparently, there's another quest we can pick up in here, too. From Dandelion. What's up, Dandelion? What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. <laughs> I say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekema jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Mm-hmm. And what is that? How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices. Sounds like an herb. And daddy dear would never refuse his daughter dear a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Oh, uh, let's ask this question first. This rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return. Nice zoom. <laughs> you know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Okay. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you... I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. Such a harebrained scheme. What's his help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? That must have been that, Get that exclamation point sword that I just Sofronia's bought. House. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Okay. <laughs> Let's say I agree. Oh, I did this already. Madame Arena. Okay. Something I have to finish. Okay. Fine. How do I get out of this? Oh, I guess I got to do this. Sorry, Dandelion. Maybe later. You always say that. If you change your mind... Yeah, he I'll definitely wants here. to get me in trouble. That was a little poorly structured there. I don't think I picked up the quest. 
Uh, let's just get it from him Got again real quick. For you, my friend, always. Okay, let's get that. What did you want from Sophronia? Slipped my mind. Geralt, I want to transform this esteemed... I remember now. Gotta help you convince her you're trustworthy. Exactly. And... Okay, I'll help you. Didn't let me do that before. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Okay. And there was a couple other things in there. For you, my friend, always. Uh, Molly says hello. <laughs> Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? Oh when my. You promised to show your butterfly collection too. Ah, uh, yes. When we were now, going around and chasing down all his uh, all love interests trying to, to find him more inventive. when Molly he was missing. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average run-of-the-mill girl. But give her a smile. Notice her shoes. Let her chat about them a bit. And she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. <laughs> all right. See you. See you, Dandelion. All right. So... That was another quest we could have picked up. Um, so we've got that card game from Zoltan. Who was being called Cheve for some reason. That's a level 12 one. We had some other Gwent ones. I think we should do these first. The big city players. We want to pick up some good cards in case we end up getting in some games here. Oh, he's Zoltan Cheve. Okay. So maybe let's do this one. We've also got this one. Um, and there's the collect them all. Not sure if we can do that yet. And there's the Valen players. I've actually got a dragon root for the soothsayer guy here. So maybe we'll finish out today with just a little bit of Gwent. What do you say? A little bit of Gwent. Let's do the big city players first, maybe. Uh, we'll win a unique card from uh, Marquis Serenity. She runs another brothel up north, a little bit more highbrow one than this. So let's go win a card from her first. What do you say? What do you say? You don't know how to give, you can't receive. Saying I'm not good at giving, you got to have talent. Wow. And it's quite the place in here. Okay, it's actually noon. No, oh, it looks dark in here. Oh, because the weather's foul. This time. Sure, there's a lot of weather here. Oh, Priscilla. Strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, let's try to make it uh, better weather. Let's pretend we slept the night here. Oh, and it's still nasty. All right, it is what it is. So let's get up to here and do that. Alrighty. It wants me to go. See, I'm running all over the place this way. Right again. Damn. So we got some bodies over here somewhere. All right. <laughs> Take it. Chicken sandwich lying on the ground. Ham and a mace. The rain smells different here. Rain again. Damn. Nice. Rain again. It's raining again. We've spent a good amount of time here in Novigrad. Yes, we have. And up here. Uh-oh. Bandits again? Where are they at? <laughs> Everybody's shrieking. Where are they? I'll get them. Oh, here they are. See, there's my block. God, lost Oop, your nerve. Not there. 
This is Bandit's Alley. Gotta do our daily cleaning out of it. Oh my god. With a little beheading. <laughs> Alright, I've lost count now of how many times I've cleaned that alley out. It's a bad spot. Very bad spot. Yeah, her place is really fancy. Really, really fancy. This big old building right here. I came here and bought a card from her. Um, but I didn't do much else. Hi, handsome. Hello. To puke or not to puke, that is the... Apparently, she can arrange a visit with some of her girls. Yeah, I wonder how that greetings. would go. Come now, darling, don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They wait. This way, please. Who? This way. Upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Just stay clear of those parent places. It's dark in here. I can light my torch. Where's she taking me? <laughs> Put this away. <laughs> it's so dark. Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Welcome back. Okay. Mm, when I look at you, why? I almost regret I'm no longer an active duty. <laughs> I came to play Gwent. Uh, or we could see which girl she recommends. I'd like to see them first. Oh, that must be the girls too. Uh, no. <laughs> well, let's see if she's selling any cards. Actually, I'd just like to buy something. No, nope, I already bought them from her. Okay. So let's go back to the game of Gwent. So we got to win a I'm card curious. off her. You play Gwent? Certainly. Though for high stakes exclusively, of course. In fact, the game would be exceedingly boring without the risk. Let's play. Up for a round? Why, yes. Let's play. Okay. So, I think we're good with our deck. It should be all right. We didn't bet any money, but uh, all good. We got our Scorch Frost. It's cool. Got one, two, three Siege cards. All good. We got her. Um, this will give one each of the Siege cards, but that still only makes it worth four. Trade that one in. Oh, we got another siege. Um, yeah, I think we'll go good with this. Oh, she's Nilfgaard, huh? I don't have any spies or any decoys. Hopefully I'll be all right. Uh, let's risk the frost. See if we get something else. Yeah, we got a decoy. Okay. Cool. She's starting small. That's fine. Let's start with uh, these guys. We'll pull in their two buddies. Little creepy dudes. Oh, she's going big now. Going big. Alright, so where should we go from here? We got our hero. We got a ton of catapults. We're gonna hold on to the scorch for now. Mm. I'd say let's just 
play small for the moment. Put this guy out. He's doing the same. Okay. I guess I'll go big. Put my hero down. Ooh, okay. Scorched me. Yeah, I thought she wouldn't because all my cards were small. But... I've got seven cards. She's got six. Let's pull her back. Oh, I can't, can I? Yeah, I can't use decoys on the hero cards. Hmm. She's got nothing big out there for me to torch yet. I guess... I don't want to skip with my hero out there. Yeah, we got to win one. All right. She don't make it rain. That's fine. That's fine. She's passed. Okay. She takes no prisoners. No, she's playing rough. She's playing rough. You can clear the rain up. And we can take one of these back. And still win. We'll have 16. So let's take one back. And then we'll pass. And win the first round. I'll get one more card. And it's my turn. All right. So let's put this guy down to start with, Vesemir. My plan is to put all these down and then do this. Just gonna use a medic. Gotta keep an eye out for high level cards of her so we can scorch them. But for now, we just gotta do that. Hopefully she doesn't have more scorches. Still can't scorch her. Let's see how this goes. Oh, another medic. Okay. Nothing to it but to do it. If we lose, I'm hopefully we can play her again. We'll get multiple tries. She's got one card left. I can't scorch. So I've got all the higher level cards, so we're just gonna have to go for it, not having used this. And oh, we'll see what her last card is. Hey, we got her. First try. Okay. All right, we'll see what card we get from her. I felt to understand how I lost that. Oh, I believe this card belongs to you now. No any other players willing Thank to stake you. rare cards? In Novigrad, Siggy Reuven's collection is famous. You really should challenge him. All right, that'll be our next one. So what did we get? Morvan Voris. 25 XP. Are we getting cash from that? I thought it was high stakes. I guess the card was the high stakes. All right, let's see where that one card was. It was... Not one of these. Oh, it was a Nilfgaard hero. 
Okay. Right on. Well, we're not doing Nilfgaard yet, but when we get to Nilfgaard, we have a hero. Okay. Cool. So, what was the one that she told me to do from Dijkstra? Okay, where is he at? Oh, he's right behind me. Excellent. Easy enough. Might even be in here. Upstairs. Oh, okay. It's so dark in here. Where are the stairs up? <laughs> Light a torch in here. Burn the place down. How are you, honey? Here we go. Yeah, I guess he's upstairs. Which your girl? Up you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's still upstairs. He's on this level. There he is. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. Oh, this is the one too where he wants me to assassinate. It's on everyone's mind. Men right to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, That's not what I'm here this for. This <laughs> venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falka planned her revolt here. By extension. King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? Far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. Yeah, in we stepped into blood, something much bigger than the Gwent game rabbits. here. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. I don't even get the option here. Yeah, still don't know if I'll help. Came by because I'm curious. But you will help. We'll see. Need to know what you expect of me first. I just want to play cards. I believe you know my associate. It's Roach, you Forbidding here? Forbidding music in the Retired back. Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once, ready to assassinate another now. Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. What do you guys think? Should I help assassinate his own interests? the king? When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. Radovid? When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler. That's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more, calls himself Gregor. All right, well, I'll find this guy. We'll go that far. Fine, I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention, if you can. Remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it no up. No pressure. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. This guy's face is so distorted. You come in. Can we no play cards now? Madam Serenity in your lackey. Off the street, I mean. No. Nice to chat and all, Geralt, but don't you have a job to do? I'm supposed to win a card from you. Nice to chat and all, Geralt, but oh. don't you have a job to do? 
Nice to chat and all, Geralt. Darn it. Don't you have a job to do? Okay, so I guess we can't play him until we do this other thing. Well, that was a dirty trick. It's so dark in here. Do this again for you guys. <laughs> um, but there was the innkeeper one. I guess we can do that. So I don't want to start this big old quest right now. We don't have too much time left in today. Um, so that was the Gwent Big City Players. How about the... Um, playing the innkeeps. We gotta win Stepan's unique card. And he is... Where's Stepan? All the way over here. Oxenfurt. And there's also the, um, the what's it, what's his name, back, uh, with this other one, do, to do, to do, the soothsayer, where's he, he was kicking my butt before, he's way down here. But it doesn't really matter, because we can fast travel. Let's go back to him, see if he's still kicking my butt. And I've got this other thing for him, this dragon root we can give to him. So let's go do that. I'll be finishing that up. And that'll be interesting too, because it'll combine with this other quest. He's going to tell my future this dragon root. He tried to tell my future before, but he actually ended up telling me my past. He says, oh, well, if you give me some of this dragon root, I can do better. It's my way out of here. I guess it's, uh, this way? And this way. Okay. We can put this away. I wish the weather would clear up a little bit. Maybe let's take it to noon. I guess that's a little better. And then let's get down to... Let's see where the... Um, gotta get to this. Near signpost. That's just down over here. No Gwent for me. Apparently not. Not from him. Don't you have something else to do? <laughs> More important matters. Okay, let's get down to... Benek. Travel way across the map. Furthest we've been in Novigrad for several streams now. So this guy is... Just to my left. That's right. He was sitting out on the edge here. A soothsayer. The old sage. What's oh, up? Oh, you're back. Um, so I've got the dragon root. Let's do that first. Well, in case it gets messed up, let's go ahead and play Gwent. Another round? Sure. Only diversion we get in this wasteland. Then we'll give him his root. Let's play. Let's lay him out. Okay. And I'm doing Northern Realms. We're still good with our cards, I'm pretty sure. So I haven't got any new cards there for a while. Cool, we got Decoy. Scorch will need Frost with this guy. Oh, we got a Spy. Excellent. This is the guy who wouldn't play with me just now. Dijkstra. <laughs> oh, we got these two guys. Oh, we're going to be pretty good. We're going to be pretty good. Now, this guy, he's got a mean hand, though. He plays monsters. Um, which means you get tons of sword guys down. So we'll just go with what we got. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> oh! All right. Well, we'll combine the two catapults. Oh, that was an accident. I meant to press enter to play. All right, we'll put this guy back and maybe I'll get a decoy again. I didn't, but I got another spy. Okay, we can work with that. It's good to have decoys and spies, though. 
<coughs> because um, they usually, if he has a decoy, he'll play your spy back at you. That's all right. You get the points for it. You got a catapult monster. I didn't know those exist. All right, we're going to go ahead and just use our spies straight off. Because usually this first round, he puts down a ton of sword guys anyway. And a lot of times we just let the first round go. Because he's got so many. <coughs> we could Binding Frost them, but they build up quick. So I learned these guys, it's often best just to use all their cards up straight off. Let's do that. Probably just give him this round. And he's passed. He's got 21. So if we put down Biting Frost, he'd have 11. And we could beat him straight straight out. Might as well. Let's just beat him. Get around. We still got plenty more cards than him. So now he's down to 11. If we put down a couple of these guys, we'll have this. Yeah, let's do that. Boink. And boink. And we got him. He so soundly kicked my booty before. I assume I'm going to get a monster card off of him. Alright, so it's my turn. Uh, we're going to start off small. But uh, I think I'm going to be prepared just to go for it with him this time. Let's see what he does. He's going to scorch my itty bitty card. I'm glad I did that. Fine. Alright, let's put down another card I don't care about. See what he does with that. He's gonna do that thing. And... Put down one more card that I don't care that much about. I mean, I like Vesemir, but yeah. Butterfingers is my curse for you with the card games. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. See, he's going, he's going hard. Oh, look, those are so many fours, though. Oh, but my sixes. Yeah, I can't scorch him. Butterfingers, huh? <laughs> Butterfingers like uh, the candy bar. So I'm going to give him this one, actually, now that he's used up a bunch of his cards. Yeah, I'm going to forfeit. Because I've got... Uh, some serious ones. I could probably beat him with this. This will get me 20. This will get me 36. That'll get me up to 56. But, and that would add even a little bit more to it, but I'm not going to risk it. So we gave him that round. He gets to keep one. Hopefully that was the right move. Let's see how this goes. What does that guy do? Yeah, he would have done that before. Okay, so I'm going to keep my cards low because I can Scorch. So let's put that guy out first. We'll start small. Okay, he's got three twelves. So here we go. Bam. What do you think about that? Okay, so yeah, he's just clearing the weather, so he doesn't have much left. He has one card left. We got this. We got this. Alright, he's clearing the weather again. He's passed. We finally... I'm finally doing so much better than I was 
with these guys before, so I already won. But just to make me feel better, <laughs> we'll do that. We'll really trounce him. I know what you meant, Jay, but uh, I'm not giving you that. So is the soothsayer's lot. I know where to find the finest slippery jacks this fall, but how to play and not lose, that I'll never know. A you were, you were whipping me before. Take this card, you deserve it. Know of any others who play Gwent? You've but one opponent worth your while in Velen, in the village of Midcops. They calls him Haddy. He's a tyke, barely a handful of summers to him, but don't let that fool ye. Okay. Crone. We. I wonder if that's a monster card. Most likely. Okay, so let's um do that other quest with him. Oh, you're back. I forget which one it is, but uh, here's what you asked for. God, this is the dragon for? root to help with his soothsaying powers. No, I need a moment. See what he has to say. I see a wolf striving forward towards a solitary tower midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As to others say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of Henica of a planted seed. Ithleen's prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. He does look like the blacksmith. They reused some of the faces in here for sure. So that was the truth is in the stars. So that sounded like fairly generic prophecy about me chasing Siri and the world dies of ice. So that must be the wild hunt. And then it's reborn of the elder, elder blood, which is Siri. He said that was already somebody else's prophecy. So that's a little rude that he gave me a recycled prophecy <laughs> but um, that is what it is uh, hopefully that was something worthwhile and he did give me a new card I could win now from or a new person to win a card from Hattie of Myth Cops and the man in Oriton but we're on the end of the seventh hour right now I'd like to keep going but I need to go and do some stuff around the house. I need to go get food and cook dinner and all that kind of real life stuff. And I'm starving and uh, going eight hours. I don't know. The quality of the stream might go down a little bit. It'll probably be fine. But at this point, I'd probably just keep playing Gwent anyway. <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. All right. Well, this was a great day. We got a bunch of stuff done. We got some main quest stuff done. We cleaned up some question marks on the map. We got some treasures. We got this fancy new armor and that shows off my biceps and all my scars on my upper arms there. And we, um, yeah, we did a bunch of stuff. So with that, I'm going to call it for the day. And today is Monday. So we still got Witcher Wednesday coming up day after tomorrow. So, yep. Ray Mats, <laughs> you just woke up. <laughs> I'm just finishing my seventh hour of streaming, Ray Mats, so I gotta go. But, yep, we will be back. Um, you've got the whole archive of the stream. You can go watch right now. And uh, leave me comments where you will. Twitter, YouTube, wherever you'd like. But I gotta go for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching, hanging out with me, and all the tips and the company and everything like that. More to come. For now, though, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.